Stereo Tactic Navigation System for Laparoscopic Lateral Pelvic Lymph Node Dissection. An overview of the system and the setup in the operating room is shown here. The system was built using NDI Polaris, an optical tracking sensor, and the open source software 3D Slicer. The positions of the forceps and scope in the surgical field are tracked in real time during surgery using optical tracking sensors. The navigation system is based on these data, i.e. it integrates positional information from the surgical field with pre-operative images, such as computed tomographic images. In this system, the position of the forceps can be displayed on CT images based on the positional information from the tracked forceps, and the viewpoint of the laparoscope and 3D reconstructed CT images can be synchronized using the positional information from the tracked scope, which makes it possible to achieve augmented reality-based navigation in which useful anatomical images are superimposed onto the laparoscopic view. The process through which positional information is integrated between the surgical field and pre-operative images is called patient-to-image registration. In this study, we used a landmark-based registration method for patient-to-image registration. Here, we show the patient-to-image registration process. P is the position of the landmarks in the patient coordinate system, and Q is the position of the corresponding landmarks in the CT image coordinate system. T asterisk is the rigid coordinate transformation matrix used for transformations from the patient coordinate system to the CT image coordinate system. In the stereotactic navigation system, this transformation matrix enables us to determine the positions on images that correspond to each position on the patient. In the landmark-based registration method, these calculations are achieved using pairs of P and Q points. The coordinate transformation matrix that minimizes the distance between point P and corresponding point Q is T asterisk. Such calculations are performed automatically using the fiducial registration wizard module, a 3D slicer, by specifying the relevant point on the patient and the corresponding point on the computer image. However, there may be differences in the positions of landmarks between the pre-operative images and the patient on the operating table due to various factors, which result in registration error. It is necessary to minimize registration error as much as possible to enable more accurate navigation. Among the various types of registration error, the distance between points on a computer image after registration and the corresponding points on the patient is called target registration error or TRE. We used two types of landmarks for the patient to image registration in the present study. One was skin surface markers and the other was intra-abdominal landmarks. In the method involving skin surface markers, 10 radio-opaque metallic beads were fixed to the skin surface during the pre-operative CT imaging. In the operating room, after the induction of general anesthesia and head down positioning, we pointed to the 10 skin surface markers using the pointer tool to register the landmarks. Then the corresponding skin surface markers on the CT images were registered. Registration was performed by matching these markers between the pig 
and the CT images. However, skin surface markers can easily be displaced due to postural changes because the skin is highly deformable and displaceable. Therefore, registration using only skin surface markers can result in large TRE values. It is necessary to select landmarks that are less susceptible to displacement to achieve more accurate navigation. Therefore, we focused on intra-abdominal landmarks as a second type of landmark for registration. There are several structures that are easily identifiable in the abdominal cavity, such as vascular branching points. In particular, since lateral pelvic lymph node dissection is usually performed after rectal resection, structures in the retroperitoneum that are revealed by rectal resection can be used as landmarks for registration. In this study, the root of the inferior mesenteric artery, the aortic bifurcation, and the root of the first branch of the external iliac arteries were used as intra-abdominal landmarks. First, the points described above were identified on CT images and registered as landmarks in the CT coordinate system. The positions of the intra-abdominal landmarks were obtained using forceps equipped with an infrared reflective marker. The points on the patient corresponding to the CT landmarks were registered as landmarks in the PIG coordinate system by pointing directly to them with the forceps. These points were used to achieve registration. This shows the images provided by laparoscopy and the navigation monitor. Integrating the positional information from the preoperative images with the surgical field makes it possible to synchronize the laparoscopic viewpoint with the CT images. Tracking the position of the scope enables augmented reality-based navigation in which a 3D vascular model constructed from preoperative CT is superimposed onto the laparoscopic images. In the laparoscopic view, blood vessels are buried under the tissue and cannot be seen. In the navigation view, the 3D artery model is overlaid onto the laparoscopic view. We can use this anatomical information to guide surgery. This was the view halfway through the surgery. In the case shown in this video, the TRE was 2.1 mm, which resulted in highly accurate superimposed images. In summary, in laparoscopic lateral pelvic lymph node dissection, the use of intra-abdominal landmarks, which are less susceptible to displacement than body surface markers, could facilitate more accurate intraoperative stereotactic navigation. Thank you for listening.